He is vengeance. He is the knight. He is Batman. What is up, everyone? Welcome to Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum, a game that a great deal of people had very little confidence in before it came out back in 2009 and proved to the world that, holy shit, there actually can be good Batman games. Great ones, even. Who'd have thunk it? So, heads up, this one is going to be a little bit light on commentary because they front load a lot of cutscenes and expository sequences in the beginning. So, without further ado, let's watch the opening sequence. What you've done with the place. That's Warden Shop to you. Bowles! Yo, Frankie! How's the wife and kids? You miss me? Shut it, clown! <gasps> A lot of people here really want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't mind walking. <laughs> Not so tight, boys. You'll crease the suit. <laughs> Get that filthy degenerate out of here. Warden, something's not right. I'm going with him. Is Commissioner Gordon here? Yes, sir. He's uh, waiting for you down at patient handover. Uh, he got here just before you did. Sharpie loves his cameras. Hey, Sharpie, you getting my good side? Ah, but heck, they're all good, aren't they? <laughs> I want him securely locked away this time. Look at all this new security. How's the guy supposed to break out of here? New patient in the intensive treatment lobby. All non-essential staff to vacate the area. Oh, it's always nice to return to my sweet little <laughs> hacienda. You know what? I prefer the good old cavity search. Much more personal. Got a red light. Multiple prohibited items. I want you to search again. Uh, it's not the patient. It's. Ooh, would you sneak in with your bats? Come on, tell me, tell me. Batarangs, bat claws. Ooh, bat smacks. Scan the screen on Joker. Open the gate. Get him out of there. I want weapons on him at all times. Do not let him out of your sight. There'll be time enough for you later, Cash. Speaking of time... Tick tock, tick tock. Is that a crocodile I hear? <laughs> What's up, Doc? Pencil me in for tomorrow at four. We've got a lot of catching up to do. Oh, keep behind me. 
Hello, new patient. This is Quincy Sharp, warden of Arkham Asylum. Oh, it's when my favorite show. Oh, I'm warden idiot. You'll never escape. You would be the patient's psychiatric evaluation and rehabilitation center for the criminal hey, insane. Shut it and keep moving. The state of the wiring in these federal facilities is well shocking. My boys over there could have been hurt in that unfortunate fire. Just gotta check your prisoner, Officer Bowles. Whatever, just be quick. Only following procedure. Patient seems to be in satisfactory condition. Looks like he suffered minor lacerations, probably in the last two hours. There seems to be. <laughs> Need to take my temperature? I'd be happy to drop my pants. He's all yours. Get him out of here. He's good. Get the door open. Alert in intensive treatment. Category 9 patient in transit. Pacification system active. Shoot to kill permissions granted. You heard the lady. We got another psycho on the way. Can you smell the excitement in the air? No? Hmm. Must have been one of the guards then. Croc, old boy! Is that you? Get ready. Keep your weapons trained on it at all times. Looks angry. What's it doing? I've got your scent, Batman. I will hunt you down. Get that animal under control. A toy collar won't stop me from killing you, Batman. And rip you apart. Eat your bones. That reminds me. I really need to get me some meat. Okay, meat. move up. Batman passing Whee! Great night for a party! Not where you're going. <laughs> the night is young, Bats. I still have a trick or two up my sleeve. I mean, don't you think it's a little bit funny how a fire at Blackgate caused hundreds of my crew to be moved here? <laughs> I thought I told you to stay quiet! Oh, Frankie, you really should learn to keep that fat mouth of yours shut. It'll get you into trouble. Tell me something. You've never let me catch you this easily. What are you really after? Well, nothing much. Hundreds dying in pain and fear. All their meaningless lives brought to a horrifying conclusion. All thanks to you and a book of matches. Was that the answer you wanted? All patients should avoid contact with prisoners from Blackgate Prison Facility. Their presence... <laughs> What's he doing? Stay where you are. Get a flashlight! Get a light on him! Nothing to our institution is temporary. <laughs> what? Don't you trust me? Our guest has arrived. Intensive treatment. Lower floors are now at level red alpha. So, you're back. You killed three of my crew when you busted out of here. Only three? <laughs> I'll be sure to try harder next time. What say we aim for a hundred? Long night, Jim. 
Joker invades City Hall and holds the mayor hostage, leaving it to me to juggle SWAT teams, the media, and you. Yeah, it's been a hell of a night. Hopefully the last one we'll ever have with him. Yeah, right. Hold it there. Sorry, Batman. Arkham staff only. I assure you, if anyone's qualified, it's... Uh, listen, I appreciate the assistance, but he'll unsettle the more violent inmates. <laughs> I think he's talking about you, Bats. Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome here. Gotta say, it's good to be back. <laughs> you okay? He surrendered almost without a fight. I don't like it. At least he's back where he belongs. Get up! Now! <laughs> Joker's loose. Alert the warden. Hurry! The joke's on you. <laughs> Ta da! Honey, I'm home. Come on in. <laughs> Welcome to the Madhouse, Batman! I set a trap, and you sprang it gloriously! Now let's get this party started. So, for our Ladies first real man. playable sequence of the game, aside from that Deus Ex Human Revolution style opening, well, I guess, actually, Human Revolution came out after this. Either way, our first playable section is this awesome, awesome combat sequence that introduces you to the game's combat engine, which is probably one of the most praised features of the game when it came out. One of the game's biggest achievements was making the, the brawls feel good. And that's in addition to all the other stuff, like the casting, the script, uh, up until the end, the stealth sequences, the detective sequences, the pacing, it's all great, but the combat system is probably one of the first things people talk about with this game, because it's, it's spectacular. It's a little bit shallow, but the flow of combat, like the dynamic animations, it makes the actual fighting feel so good. It's heavily based on just hitting everyone with these light attacks, countering and flowing from enemy to enemy like only the bat can and you unlock new combos and gadgets and stuff which keeps the combat fresh later in the game and every hit is just so meaty it's it's fast it's responsive it's precise it's a damn good brawler i'll find a way out gordon try and contact the warden let him know what's happened don't make promises you can't keep back I'm in control of the asylum. You're not going anywhere I don't want you to. Understand? If you think I'll let you run... Ah, ah, ah. Always oh, with the heroes! Are you looking bored of watching you? Why don't you just come find me? Oh man. Love the cast of this game. Like most aspects of the game, I love the casting. This is also a neat little feature. Over the course of the game, you unlock biographical information about many of the Batman characters, ranging from the more well-known ones like the Joker, like the Riddler, Batman himself, down to uh, some more obscure characters we're going to see featured in here, either in bio form or Easter egg form, like Firefly, who does not get high enough billing in the series. Anyway, so this game features all the best Batman voice actors, which is just another triumph. and. Those voice actors are the ones from the 90s animated cartoon. So we have Kevin Conroy, the best person to ever figuratively or literally strap on the Dark Knight's cowl. Uh, Arlene Sorkin is Harley Quinn. And top billing always has to go to Mark Hamill's Joker, who always manages to steal the show. Although that Troy Baker monologue from uh, The Killing Joke kind of convinced me that Baker might not be a bad replacement, even though I haven't played Origins yet. I, sh I should definitely get around to that. So the decision to do Batman Arkham Asylum was kind of a spur-of-the-moment decision when I realized I hadn't picked a game after X4. But that's fine, because I love Batman. I really love Batman for the extremely comical, absurd storylines, like in the Frank Miller story where Batman just kind of belittles Robin and calls him retarded, or like when Joker became the United Nations ambassador for Iran, stuff like that. But I also genuinely love Batman. Like, I, I love a lot of the stories that are just straight up good and, and not in the ironic sense. Stories like Hush and whatnot. What happened? Joker happened. 
You're lucky to be alive. He must have gone this way. Door's jammed. I'll try and get it open. We need help in pacification. I repeat, we need backup in pacification. Can anyone hear this? Can you hear me? I'm with Batman. Hello? Where are they? Back down there. Do you need help? No. I work better alone. Zaz is free! Oh god, he's got Mike! Franklin, can you hear me? If you can, help's on the way. And we will deal with Zaz next time. This video is just going to be a short little introduction video to get all the opening cutscenes and all that opening expository stuff out of the way. And now that that is out of the way, we have a lot of fun stuff ahead. So I hope to see you in the next episode. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Have a good one.